Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. Also, if you want to get in contact with me, contact with me, there's two ways to do that. You visit the description in this in this video. You'll find a Calendly link to book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me, or you can email me directly to make money coaching sports at gmail.com. All right, so today's video, I'm going to talk about a, a question that I've been asked recently. And that question is, should I purchase a Soccer Shots franchise? So Soccer Shots is obviously a massive, massive company in the United States based mainly. Um, and they're pretty much, I'd say, in every single state across America. Right? Every town or every city you go to, I could probably guarantee that you will find at least one soccer shop uh, company or franchise operating in that area. Now, a lot of coaches, when they're at the starting phase of their business, they, they reach out to us and they ask, should I purchase a franchise? Should I invest in getting a franchise? And this is a great question. And it's one that when, when I think of it, there's, there's three things to take into account, right? Number one, when you invest into a franchise, whether that be soccer shots or any other type of, of sports training uh, business, you've got to make sure you have the funds to make that initial investment, okay? So some coaches have that investment. Some coaches don't have that, that money to invest, right? So the number one thing you need to... To take into account is do I have enough money to be able to invest into a franchise okay, because a franchise is a quite an expensive upfront cost that requires you to 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 pay for everything pretty much right that the upfront payment is the location right the, you're paying for the territory that you're you're going to be running your franchise from you're paying for, you know, their database, pretty much, the the marketing, the promoting, um, the merchandise material that, that they give to kids so that kids can show up to your sessions in soccer shots shirts, right? So you've got there, there's a lot of there's a lot more things that comes to it, but you've got to make an initial investment into having the license to be able to, to operate your business as a Soccer Shots franchise. So that the first thing to take into account is it's a big investment. And do you have the funds to do it? If you do, then fantastic. If not, then we that this option might not be the right one for you, right? We know, and I've worked with a lot of coaches who have created six-figure businesses starting from scratch, right? They haven't purchased the franchise. All they did was they put themselves out there. They marketed their business. They built a brand. They built, they built systems. And they've managed to, to gain clientele and build a reputation for themselves, right? When you invest into a franchise, essentially you're, you're just investing into a license to operate under their name. OK, so that's the first thing. The second thing is clients, right? When you purchase a franchise and any new clients that come into that franchise, you have to remember that they're not yours, right? They, they're soccer shots clients. They aren't actually your clients. So all the database, all the all the information belongs to soccer shots the company the company you don't have essentially you, you probably have access to it to get in contact with parents but it's not officially yours and you will sign a contract at the start to say that all the terms and conditions from soccer shots including customer database belongs to the franchise so essentially those clients aren't yours they are soccer shots Right. And essentially what you're doing is you're paying to have the license to attract customers to your franchise. But those customers aren't yours in the long term. OK, they're soccer shots. Now, if you start your own business, 
then yes, you, you, you keep your clients, right? Those clients are yours. You can offer them one-to-one -one training. You can offer them small group training. You can do camps, clinics. You can send out email marketing as many times as you, as you want to them, right? But when you don't have the clients, so if you're a Soccer Shots franchisee, you can't offer those clients anything different to what the actual company offers. So if you want to offer one-to-one -one training, for example, you can't do that because they aren't your customers. They don't belong to you, right? So that's something to take into account as well. When you have your own business, those cl clients, those customers, that database is yours to keep and you can do what you want with it. You can, you can promote a market. You can keep selling them, you know, you can provide off different offers of different services to them. They're yours. But when you have a franchise, those clients aren't yours. Now, third thing to take into account is just because you purchase a franchise doesn't mean you're going to be successful. Right? A lot of coaches go into this, this with the mentality that if I buy a soccer shots franchise, it's going to, it's going to be a success. Right? In the long term, yes. Okay, it probably will be a success because that company has a very strong name in the soccer, the soccer industry in the United States. So it does have a, a strong name. It has a massive influence. Right. And, and most parents that have kids that are younger know of the company. But it doesn't guarantee that the franchise will succeed. Right, because ultimately what happens is you still have to market, you still have to sell, you still have to promote, you still have to close parents into coming to train into your franchise. Right, you're still in charge of building the business. All you have done is you've purchased and you've made an investment for the lice to, to be able to operate under their name. But ultimately, you still have to grow the franchise. You still have to market. You still have to sell. You still have to talk to parents. You still have to get your name and your franchise out there to be able to attract and grow your clientele. So ultimately, if you think about it, building a business from scratch, whether it be as a franchise or as your own, requires the same effort and energy. If it's under your own name, you still have to build the business from scratch, right? You still have to get clients. You still have to talk to parents. You still have to offer training, right? You still have to do exactly the same things if you have a franchise than if you are operating under your own name. The only advantage is that you're able to operate as soccer shots, which means parents know and know and trust that brand a little bit more then if you were to start your company, from right, it's, it's the same effort and energy having a franchise with a growing your own brand, right? And this is something a lot of coaches get confused because they think that if they just purchase a franchise, they're going to get clients automatically, right? And ultimately, it doesn't work that way, okay? You still have to promote, you still have to market, you still have to build the business, even if you have a franchise, right? So you have to put the same amount of energy and effort that you would if you had your own brand than if you had a franchise, a franchise, okay? So hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Also, if this is something you're looking to do in the future, you might need some more help with it, uh, some more clarity, then get in contact with me. There's two ways you can do that. Visit the description in this video. You can click on my Calendly link, schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. Or you can also send me a question to my email directly, which is makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Right, those are the two ways to get in contact with me. So I make it a priority every single day to speak to coaches, to engage, to connect. So if don't be stuck with your business, reach out to me and I'll be happy to get on a call with you uh, sometime this week. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.